Okay, so let's review. You have your first pizza cut into one, two, equal slices. So, and you ate one of two, so you ate one half. Your second pizza was cut into one, two, three, four slices, and you ate one, two of four. So two of four is equal to two fourths. Your last pizza was cut into eight slices, and you ate one, two, three, four, or four of eight, or four eighths. Do you see a pattern in all of the fractions that make them equivalent? Try multiplying the numerators and the denominators by the same numbers. Let's use the number two. One times two and two. One times two over two. One half times two over two is one times two is two and two times two is four. Or two fourths. Equivalent fractions. Let's multiply two fourths by two over two. And we'll get four eighths. Two times two is four and four times two is eight. Let's multiply four eighths by two over two. And we get I'll let you do that one at home. Take a moment and stop the video if you need to write down some notes. We're going to move on to percentages now. A percent is one part in a hundred. A percent is one part in a hundred. So if your whole pizza is equal to 100 percent, what percentage is the portion that you ate at each meal? Let's see. To calculate the percentage of each fraction, you have to figure out what number you can multiply by both the numerator and the denominator that will cause you to have 100 in the denominator. I know if I multiply 2 times 50, I'll get 100. So I'm going to multiply 1 half times 50 in the numerator and 50 in the denominator. And that's going to give me 50 over 100, which is equal to 50%. 50 over the over 100 is the same thing as saying 50%. Let's multiply what number will over 2 fourths. What number will multiplied by 4 will give me 100 in my denominator. Well, we know that's 25. So I'm going to multiply 2 fourths times 25 in the numerator and 25 in the denominator. And uh, 2 times 25 is 50 and 4 times 25 is 100. That gives me 50% again. So I'm going to multiply 4 eighths. Now this one might be a little bit more tricky. What you'll need to do is take your 100 and divide it by 8. And that should give you 12.5. So 12.5 times 8 is equal to 100. And 12.5 times 4 is equal to 50. Or 50%. Now you can see the relationship and all these numbers that we call equivalent fractions. Now let's move on to convert a percent to a decimal. All you have to do to convert your percentage into a decimal is number one, change your percentage back into a fraction. So 50% is equal to 50 or one, over 100. That's actually a division problem. So let's do the division. 50 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.5 or 5 tenths of a hundred. We're going to move on to a different problem now. That it's going to, we're going to use these, all these little things we've just learned in, these pro in this problem, in the pizza problem with the percentage and the um, decimals. Macy's is having a 20% off sale. You see a shirt that you want to buy that has a regular price of $80. Today you can get a discount of 20% off the price of the shirt. To figure out how much you will save and what the final price for the shirt will be, follow these steps. Number one, turn your percentage into a decimal by dividing 20 divided by 100. 20% is 20 divided by 100. That's going to give you 0 0.20 or 20 tenths of 100. Multiplying the regular price of the shirt by the decimal you got in step one. So the regular price of the shirt we said was $80 and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.20. And that's going to give us $16. 
Take the original price of the shirt, $80, and subtract it. Subtract the results you got from number 2. So we're going to take 80 minus the $16, and that's going to give us $64. The sales price of the shirt is $64. You save $16 off of the regular price of the shirt. And that's all we have for today. So take some time and write some notes. If you have any questions, write them in your journal, and we'll discuss them tomorrow in class. Have a good night.